What is happening everybody on YouTube? Steve again with Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com coming back to you with another video. Just got back from my vacation in Myrtle Beach and uh, getting back into the swing of things. But in today's video, I wanted to show you some ties that I picked up over the last few weeks before I went on vacation and I'll be getting ready to list. So I'm going to talk about the brands, um, give you an idea of why I bought them. Always in hopes to be able to help you to make more money when you're buying and selling pretty much anything on eBay. But this video is going to be geared towards ties. So hopefully we could uh, give you some good information. So let's get into the video. So as you can see, I've got a bunch of ties, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven ties, and uh, looks like this one I paid $1.99. Most of these pot pies, I'm hungry, no. Most of these ties that I uh, picked up, I paid anywhere between, I think, 49 cents upwards to $1.99. So that'll give you an idea of what I'm paying for them. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Most of these were from the Salvation Army. First tie that I picked up is a City of London tie. And the reason why I picked this up was just the design. It was a cool design. I like the color too, it stood out. Has a nice little stripe pattern. But uh, City of London is a decent brand. Uh, if you look them up on a sold listing, some of them do sell well, others not as well. Um, but again, only paid, I think I was in this for like 49 cents, a ridiculously low uh, cost to get in. So I figured I'd roll the dice. Even if I sell it for 10 or 15, I'll make some pretty decent money. But experiment with these ties to see what happens. Next tie that I picked up is a beautiful tie. The brand is Thomas Pink. Beautiful, beautiful item right here. Awesome brand. And uh, this is the first time I think I've ever found this brand in a tie. I usually pick these up in terms of dress shirts. But I ended up picking this up when I was on my uh, Massachusetts trip with my mother. You might have seen it in one of the... Uh, videos but I think I was in this for actually this one I think I paid a little more maybe like four dollars or three ninety nine but uh hopefully I'll be able to get maybe twenty or thirty maybe more I gotta do some more research but definitely an awesome find there. Next tie is another household brand. I usually pick up this brand in terms of uh sport jackets or dress shirts Italian brand the brand is Canali awesome brand right here and again this is the first time I've ever picked up a Canali tie so I don't have a lot of experience but I know if it's a higher end brand if it sells really well with sport coats, if it sells really well with button front shirts, the odds, the odds are it'll probably sell pretty well in terms of ties. So really happy with that. I was in that for, this actually has the price tag on it, $1.99 Salvation Army. So really happy with that. Next tie, here's a Robert Talbot. Best of Class Nordstrom, look out for that. The Best of Class series does really, really well. And um, this thing's probably gonna sell for some decent money. I've sold these in the past for 20, 30. Um, if you get the nice polka dot ones, sometimes you get 40. I sold a real nice blue one a few months back for like 30 something, maybe 40, somewhere around there. But awesome tie in that for like a dollar or two. And uh, like I said, 20 or 30 bucks, we'll see. The better the design, the more unique the design is, the brighter the colors. Uh, typically, the more money you're going to get. So, excited to see how that does. Here's another one, Robert Talbot, best of class. This one kind of pops out more. The color's brighter. It's a little more vibrant. Hand sewn down there at the bottom. I think this will probably do a little better. Check out design. the design. Just looks awesome. And uh, let's see, what did I pay for this one? $3.99 from Savers. Not sure if I had a 30% off coupon. I might have. I'm not 100% sure. But again, 20 or 30. This this may be 30, 35. We'll see. But uh, again, you know, you never really know. Awesome item right there. And it looks like the last tie that I picked up. Let's see if you could guess what brand this is. Usually you could tell with certain things like this. When I first saw this, I knew what it was. Here it is. Ted Baker, London. Look at that blue. Uh, color contrasting against the orange awesome design right there Ted Baker is definitely a higher end I believe it's a London brand really nice uh, item there I usually find this brand in terms of button front shirts usually you'll find those shirts with like the colorful flip cuffs or um, you know the nice spread collars and whatnot but here that was $4.99 I'm pretty sure I paid maybe only three with a 30% off I don't know if I would have paid five for this but I'm gonna shoot for maybe 20 or 30 again on that got to do some more research but uh, those are the ties right there. City of London, Thomas Pink, Canali, um, Robert Talbot, Best of Class Nordstrom, two of those, and a Ted Baker. So keep your eyes out for those uh, brands right there. Those are some higher end brands. And um, they can make you some pretty decent money if you get in cheap enough. The key is you got to get in at the right price because if you look at the sold listing, some of these ties, they just... 
they sell for pretty low prices and it's not worth your time. So you got to check your business model, see if it's worth your time, experiment, and uh, hopefully it'll help you to make more money in your eBay business. So again, thanks for watching. Check out my blog, you guys, at rakeandprofit.com. It's up and running. There's some pretty good articles over there, about four or five, I think, and uh, I'm posting daily. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Keep on picking and making that money, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.